Hello all of you beautiful people. I hope you are well. Let's just do some healing with a crystal amethyst wand, some selenite and I've got a couple of clear quartz wands here as well. So first of all let's ground you. Just imagine that you are looking directly at a big thick tree trunk and with your eyes just follow the trunk into the ground and as you imagine its roots you can feel your own growing out of you as well and merging with the tree root so that you gain healing and grounding from that particular tree. Take a breath in and then just breathe out anything that is worrying you, anything that is hurting you and anything that has been upsetting you or angering you. Take another breath and breathe it out. And ask in your mind that we gain peace, healing and tranquility from this video. So now I want you to protect yourself and I want you just to imagine a candle flame at the center of your being and push that flame and grow it out of the sides, in front and behind and above and below. See and feel this flame getting bigger and bigger and bigger pushing out all of those emotions and that residue that does not belong to you. And then sighing out again. Sighing is a good form of releasing tension. All right. So first of all, I am going to draw in the distant healing symbol. Honsha. Honsha Tse I'm going to draw it once more. Honsha Tse Drawing that right down your spinal cord. Okay. And that symbol will work on anything that has happened in the past. Don't follow the emotion, just recognize it. Anything that has happened in your family lineage and also anything that has happened in your past life. So first of all, I'm just going to brush your aura down with selenite. Now I've actually just chopped this stick. Well, my partner did. He got a disc cutter and just chopped it. They're very cheap, these. And I've got lots and lots of them for making grids. I haven't done a grid video for a while, so perhaps I will do one of those for you over the next week or two. So I'm just going down the back of you now with both of them, down both sides, down to your hips, right down your legs, lifting your vibration Cutting through any little hooks and cords and just gently brushing
Anything that you may have watched on the news and that you're worried about, anything that is happening in your personal or your work life. So I'm now going to draw in the master symbol, the Daikumyo. 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 And I'm just imprinting that above your crown to filter down through your auric field. Draw it again, the other way this time. Daikumio, Daikumio, Daikumio. Okay. And now I'm going to draw in the clearing symbol. The Seiheiki, and I'll try and draw it the way it appears to you on the card. It doesn't really matter, sometimes these work in reverse as well. Seiheiki, and we'll just guide that all the way down you. We may use it again later. Seiheiki. And then we activate that with the chokore. And again, chokore. Okay. And breathe out again. And just take your mind back to this tree that you are looking at. And I want you now just to imagine lying or sitting with this beautiful tree, breathing out the oxygen for you to breathe in. And as you breathe out your CO2, it breathes it in. So you're both working in unison together. Okay, and I'm now going to take a crystal wand and we're just going to start working on some of the more deep-seated issues as well. Okay, so I'm going to turn this and this is a long root piece. Okay, and I'm actually just going to imagine it's like chewing gum, this heavy chi. And I'm wrapping it around. So we're going to work at your crown first. And this is where you may have trust issues. You don't trust the messages that you're getting from your guides, your angels, your helpers, or your higher self. So I'm just going to clear off the dust, for want of a better phrase, the dust or that chewing gum, and we're going to pull it out. It's going to work above you, literally. I'm having to use two hands because I had my third vaccine yesterday and my arm is a little oh, achy. <laughs> okay, pulling it and working behind you. Yes, there's a lot behind you, okay? So I'm just still twiddling this wand. Trusting in yourself. Now, how many of us say, I don't know, but I'll try, but I don't think. Cancel, 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 as my friend Isabella Stoloff says from Orange County Healing Centre. That might be another one, lady, that you like to have a look at her stuff. Cancel, 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 delete even. Okay. 
I can, I will, I trust, I do. Okay? And remember, the mind is a very powerful thing. You can manifest and wish with your mind, your heart and your solar plexus. Okay. Still clearing the trust. I'm sort of working around this area now. And we're kind of going down into the third eye. Okay, so this really is your intuition. But also, the brain works very hard. We ingest so much information and so much tat, as I call it. You know, I'm just as guilty as the rest from scrolling through TikTok now or scrolling through Instagram or scrolling through whatever it is, you know? And we do, most of us forget it. So we'll just clear out any problems you're coming across. Maybe you've got some college work or school work that is really hard, you know, mathematics, physics, whatever it is. And it could be You've got legal things going on, which is a kind of path working in a way as well, isn't it? But again, it's bogged down with information. Let's just clear what you don't need. I'm working at your temple now. A little bit of help there with my hands. And I'm still wrapping up this kind of chewing gum or molasses heavier energy. Okay, I'm going to go to the other side. Any tension headaches? Any worries? Again, this is another intuition one too because it works in conjunction with the crown. Okay, I'm going to reach behind you. Twisting. And pulling out. what you don't need. Okay, breathe out for me. I'm just going to draw that Seiheiki symbol in again. Draw it in a slightly different way that time, but the essence is still the same. I know exactly what I mean. For those of you who practice Reiki, if you get the symbol wrong, don't worry about that rubbing out. Your guides and your intuition and your essence knows what you mean. And in the early days of Reiki, they were not allowed to take pens and pencils in. They had to memorize these symbols. That's why they look slightly different in different books. Okay, we're moving down to the throat now, okay? And the throat really, I think, goes from probably here to about here, okay? So, those stuck words, those stuck promises, the anger, any upset, any shouting, working behind you as well. Also starting to work at the neck here, so any pain. Any pain that is in the neck and the upper shoulders. Take that away. Oh, 
this is a bit of a difficult one. Let's just cut with a bit of selenite, okay. Okay, I'm gonna draw that say hey key in again. Let me just hold it up so you remember what it looks like. Chocore, just to give it a little bit of oomph. But I'm also going to draw the karmic symbol as well because this is one of the main karmic centers in the body. Okay. Today they are letting me come very close in. So we are also working on things that is happening around you now. For those of you who've had healings with me, you will have uh, privately in appointments, you will remember that I say, oh, I can't get any closer than about two foot. So I'm working out in the aura on things that have happened in the past. Well, because my guides are letting me some come so close, we're, I think we're working on things that are happening now as well. Probably even more so. Okay. Okay, we're going to go and fill everything back in afterwards, so don't worry about that. Okay, <sighs> breathing out. Let's move down to the heart. I'm going to do higher and lower. So. The higher heart is about your love for humanity and the planet. Universal love, we call that. So, especially if you're feeling really despondent with humanity at the moment, and I know a lot of us are. Don't lose hope. Whatever you do, never lose hope. Hope is everything and it carries us through the dark days. That is being glassed half full person. Remember, optimism is pretty much everything. You get out what you put in. If you're always moaning and groaning and whinging, as I call it, it's going to come back to you and you're going to see the bad in everything. My mantra is, oh well, tomorrow's another day. The sun always rises again. Oh, it's just a bad mood. I'll get over it. I am constantly saying things like that to myself. And of course the Reiki principles, just for today, do not worry. Just for today, do not anger. Kind to all living creatures. Do your work honestly and honor your elders. Okay. Okay. Right. Now for the lower. So this is the love and the friendship we have for our nearest and dearest and our acquaintances. Okay, I'm really going to pull here. And this is whether you've been hurt or whether you have hurt. We've all done both, haven't we? And I'm just really drawn to looking at this amethyst colour down here. Clearing, and indeed the Greeks used to carry amethyst with them to stop them getting intoxicated. <laughs> I wonder if it worked. I do not drink, so I won't be able to test the theory. <laughs> okay, behind.
find you now. Just a little bit further out in the aura now, so I'm about a foot to 14 inches away. So whatever happened behind you, let's see, maybe 10-ish years ago, let's clear it. Don't follow the emotion, just agree that we're going to clear it. I'm just going to draw that distance healing symbol in, the Honsha Tse Shoten. Somebody's dog's just got annoyed outside, never mind. Okay. just want to quickly pull out the remainder of the residue. Right. Okay. We're moving down to the solar plexus now, which is right at the bottom of your rib cage. So I'm going to have to hold the crystal at the same place, but imagine the stuff is coming up, okay? Because otherwise you won't see it. Now, this is your I am, your confidence center. Draw that say hey key in. And the choke array to give it some power. Now, this is your confidence center, the I am center. So, this is anything that has dented your confidence. And yes, also your confidence in humanity, so working with that universal love. For this energy center, I see this as the primary energy center. So everything that happens here or here will also be happening in the solar plexus. Some people may think differently, but, but I feel things in both places when I'm working. Okay. So this is anything that has been said to you or that has worried you in the last few days or weeks. But let's set the intention for anything that happened years ago as well. Right back into your childhood too. And maybe even before you were born. Maybe when you were in the womb or even when you were in the previous lives. around you, right out in the aura again. So we're just clearing that. Okay. slower now as we get to the end. Okay. All right, breathe out. Sacral now, so just below your belly button. Another emotional center. Also, a procreation center, fertility center. So any of you who are suffering in real time, any polyps, abdominal discomfort, and hip pain, Let 
let's let this crystal wind that heavy energy. Right, other side now. Release, release, release. Okay, right, I'm going to reach below and we're working at the lumbar. And I'm just rotating this in the same way, winding out. That hip pain, that lumbar and lower back pain. Release, release, release. I'm going to draw that say hey key in again. to the root which is right underneath you so I'm going to be going down with this okay even though I'm going to start here I'm going to place a hand underneath your chair and I want you to focus and feel your Mulhara chakra a nice square red symbol with Four lotus leaves. And we're going to pull out those worries about your home life. We're going to pull out those money worries. We're going to pull out the survival at negative energy. Because this is the stuff that is close to you. The stuff, your bills, your career. And the physical pain. Any abandonment issues, pull it all out, out and away, out and away, out and away. Okay, say hey key again. Really, really clearing with this one, this healing, real clearance of good strong, long, we're already nearly at the half hour mark, clearance. Okay. Okay, breathe out. Okay. So, had I not done so long and so much clearing, I would have pointed it back and rotated it. But I think there's a lot of chi on this now, so I'm going to set that aside for clearing. And I'm going to pick up two crystal wands that I use. This is a double terminated quartz. It was sold to me as a Lemurian quartz, but... On closer inspection, I don't think it is because it hasn't got grains going along every other side. And also, this is my favourite quartz wand. So, I'm going to start at the top, at your crown. Okay, and I'm going to point and I'm going to ask the divine light to enter these wands, I'm going to also draw the daikumyo above it, print it in, and I'm now just going to rotate. So you've got three, power of three. Divinity 
whatever you associate with the power of three. Three times three times three. Very powerful. Sending three rays of light down into your crown, filling it up with beautiful Master Chi. Filling it up, giving you the confidence to know those messages that come through to you, those ideas from the divine, from your guides, from your angels, from your helpers, and remember, with your guides or your angels, they will only tell you things that are positive. Okay, some of them you might find a bit difficult. You might have to take a bit of a leap of faith. But they will never tell you to hurt yourself and they will never tell you to hurt anybody else. So if you've got a little bit of a a worry about that, you just make a firm no, reprotect yourself, and I would suggest you come out of that meditation. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go to the third eye. Okay. Again, working at bringing that light in to you. The intuition, the knowing, I'm just going to move to the temples. And then I'm going to swap hands so that the double turn, the double points go in at the other side too. And just let the light fill up your mind, the spaces that we cleared out with positive energy. Okay. And I'm just going to Feel that in all the way around you and all the way above you with the flat sides of it. Okay. Now at the throat. I'm projecting to the back of your throat as well. telling me I've got to move around the back. Okay. Rotating into the top of the shoulders. Nape of the neck. Up into the skull as well. Bringing in that positive crystal light, golden light, platinum light, silver light, copper light, angelic light, and reiki light. Okay, let's just seal that in. And at the back. Okay, now at the heart centers, and I'm gonna hold these top to bottom. I think I need to hold them that way. So your higher and your lower hearts. And if I actually had time, I would be doing this for longer, 
then I took the stuff out of you. But I'm going to set the intentions, asking the guides and the angels and your spirit helpers and mine to hold this energy for as long as it needs to fill up all of the spaces that we took the heavy achieve from. Okay, at the back of you now. Feeling the peace and the healing and the tranquility and the lightness that these stones can bring into you. Oh, breathe out. So breathing out, it releases space so that we can fill it up again. Okay. So I'm now going to use the flaps and just seal that in. And sealing that in at the throat. Or are we at the heart? I can't remember. <laughs> I think we're at the heart, aren't we? The throat works very closely with the heart. Okay. Solar plexus. And I've been using the analogy of a chakra looking like a citrus fruit. If you cut it across the equator, imagine looking at all of those segments. And I'm imagining a lot lately that the chakras look like a citrus fruit cut in half and that all of those segments can be cleared individually but they can also be filled with light individually some of them may be dark some of them may be okay so i'm using that a lot in my mind when i'm working on healings at the moment okay behind you filling you up with confidence, light and energy the power of the I am the power of the I can and the I will. Okay. Sealing that now with the flat sides of the wands. Okay, and with the, just at the other side. And I'm having to swap hands because the microphone is placed just behind. the stand. Okay, at the front. Sealing the solar plexus. Okay. Okay, sacral. Bringing the light and the warmth back in. Bringing peace from turmoil, tranquility, golden energy and light warming up this cold water centre. Bringing in creativity. This center is very closely connected to the chakra center, also another creativity center.
bringing in positive energy into the hip bones, the hip sockets, light, suppleness. I'm visualizing all the organs within the male body and within the female body. Setting that intention for the light to whiz around everything. Now, I'm going to split them as I work at the back of you here. Thinking of the lumbar and the fluid between the, the bones so that they don't rub on each other. Thinking about how the moon is waxing, it's growing, so the molecules, everything within water, for instance, is swelling and we are water. So that fluid will be nice and plump. Breathe out for me. Okay, and just sealing that in at the back with the flat of the wands. And then now at the front. Okay, so now we are at the root the base or the Mulhadada chakra. Okay. So just imagine this is right underneath your chair. I will rotate it there in a minute, but I just want you to take it in at your mind. Feel it working beneath you. So where your pelvic floor is, when you clench those underneath muscles, that is where it is. And we're rotating the light of the earth back in. The positivity, the abundance, back into your root chakra. Helping that red light that you so often see with the chakras when they're depicted shine brightly, illuminating it up, illuminating a positive glow throughout you. Okay, I'm going to hold the energy over your shoulders. I'm just going to rotate this here like that for those who are struggling to visualize and feel how I was holding it. And then I'm actually going to move these underneath you in a minute out of screenshot. Okay, right underneath your chair now. Rotating sunwise. Bringing that energy back in, that positive energy, that healing energy, that light into your light body, as we call it. You have your physical body, you have your light body. Okay, breathing out again. And perhaps repeating an affirmation, just for today, I will not worry. Just for today, I will not anger. I will be kind to all living creatures and I will do my work honestly. And I will respect my elders and teachers. Okay. 
Now I'm going to just seal that in underneath you. So I'm sorry this has been a bit of a long one for those who want quick healings, but I struggle with quick healings. <laughs> I like to take my time. And this, of course, will work for you. If you're sleeping or if you fall asleep, don't worry, we'll, it still works. So let's just seal that in with the flat of the wands. Again, I'm just going to brush you now, bring in the light and fluffy energy, because that was a difficult healing, I think. We have cleared a lot with that amethyst wand, and it's not always pleasant, I understand that. And now down your back line. And then I want you just to lift your feet up for me, okay? Don't have to be really high, I just want to go under the soles of your feet. Okay. So I'm just going to set the energy now. And I'm going to set the crystal clear quartz energy to continue bringing in peace healing, tranquility, and light. Okay, and now I would just like you to imagine looking at your tree again and casting your eye downwards to the trunk, to the ground. Feel those roots growing out and spreading across under the soil and feel your roots joining in with that beautiful healing tree even if the tree has no medicinal qualities it has ethereal qualities with its beauty and it breathes out the oxygen for you to breathe in yourself okay breathe out thank you for watching this video Sleep well or enjoy your day. Bye-bye.